Well, you guys all saw it. Let's uh, go over some statistics before I jump into this video. It had been over three years since the Pittsburgh Steelers had a game where the offense manufactured over 400 total yards of offense. None of which came in, in a, <clears throat> excuse me, Matt Canada's tenure as offensive coordinator. But today, on November 26th of 2023, five days after Matt Canada got fired as OC, Eddie Faulkner and Mike Sullivan come in, co-sharing the offensive coordinating responsibilities for the Steelers. And the Steelers today put up the following. Kenny Pickett, 24 of 33, 278 yards. Did not throw a touchdown pass today, but I'll get more into it as the video goes on. But he didn't turn the ball over as well. Najee Harris, 15 carries, 99 yards. Longest run was for 22, and he had a touchdown run. The only touchdown that the Steelers had today, albeit. Jalen Warren, 13 carries, 49 yards. Longest was for nine, no touchdowns. Pat Fryer Muth, nine catches, 120 yards. 13.3 on average. So if you want to take a look at the leaders all together and you want to add up every single aspect of what the Steelers did offensively today, 421 yards of offense for the Steelers today. We almost doubled the Bengals in total yards of offense today. We had the ball for 37 minutes and 17 seconds to their 22 minutes and 43 seconds. And Yens want to sit back and say Mac Canada was never part of the problem. What is going on, everybody? I am Mac, back with another video. As always, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, follow on Instagram and on Twitter. Link is in the box below. Steelers win it today 16-10 over the Bengals. First and foremost, I want to apologize for being late for my own stream today. I am a little under the weather today. You can hear it in my voice. I'm a little scratchy and phlegmy, congested in my nose. So I'm sorry if I was a little monotone and out of it. It's just the stupid sinuses and the seasonal changes. But hey, this game made me feel better today. Matt Canada did none of that with the same team that now has Eddie Faulkner and Mike Sullivan co-sharing the responsibilities as OC. Now, let's not jump the gun, okay? For as awesome as the offense was today, let's not jump the gun. I still don't think these two should be the permanent OC just yet. And I say just yet because say the offense continues to look this consistent for the rest of the season and they do a well enough job. Then I would somewhat be on board with it but I wouldn't agree with it because it's just another in-house promotion. But when you take a look at how the offense gelled today, the play calling looked really good. The only problem that I had offensively today for us were two things. The execution definitely could have scored more points for us today. And I'm going to start with Kenny Pickett. Now, he didn't have any touchdown passes today because, number one, it was more underthrows, it was more missing receivers, it was more of one-read options, and it was more of him dancing around the pocket and him taking more sacks and his terrible pocket awareness. And number two, he actually should probably have had a touchdown to Deontay Johnson early in the game where they called it incomplete. But if you look at it, I think it probably would have still been upheld. But Mike Tomlin, because he doesn't know how to challenge a play that he should challenge, it never stood. Bottom line, any way you look at it, it was worth a challenge. 
Other than that, I don't have too much to complain about offensively. Those are the only things I have to complain about the offense today. When did we ever see Pat Fryermuth be a factor at any point in the season? Because it seems like Sullivan and Faulkner took the failures of what the Steelers were doing offensively and they were patching them up and they were fixing them up. Muth had a great game today. And you could hear the Muth chants down in Cincinnati from the Steelers fans who made the trip down there. As I said, the Steelers punched the Bengals in the mouth today. Najee Harris had a phenomenal game today, in my opinion. Best game of his best game of the season so far, and you love to see it. So it's like the play calling got better. Kenny Pickett showed more confidence today. He avoids a ton of criticism today outside of him still dancing around the pocket and taking unnecessary sacks. But that's really it for Kenny Pickett. He was taking more risks downfield. He was throwing passes more down the field. He seemed more comfortable today. Not a whole lot more comfortable today, but he seemed more comfortable. And that's what I want to see out of Kenny Pickett. I still don't think he's the guy because, like I said, one game doesn't justify it. But for this week, he avoids criticism for me. I want him to keep it up. I want him to keep, you know, playing with confidence. And if today was a stepping stone of him turning it around, I'm all for it. So, I mean, just a really good day offensively for us. Showing creativity. Utilizing the backfield. Utilizing your security blankets. And you had your best offensive game yards-wise, in over three years. And Matt Canada is probably punching the air right now as I'm recording this video, and I love to see it. Defensively, great game. But you know what? Um, another thing that came to my mind, after that um, touchdown that was not, most likely the touchdown that was not, the offense stalled. It kept stalling after Jalen Warren fumbled the ball. But really, those are really the only complaints I have offensively. Other than that, I am not bashing the offense at all today. And yes, I would have liked us to be more aggressive in the fourth quarter with a 13-7 lead. But the way I see it, it's like, you know what? The Bengals couldn't stop the clock. They were out of timeouts. You kick the field goal to extend the lead. And you have that QB try. You have Jake Browning try and beat you. Hey, it's like I I'm not in love with it, but at least it makes enough sense. Okay. And Zach Taylor's a freaking moron who cost the Bengals any chance of winning when they opted to go for that field goal down 16 to 10 or a 16 to 7. If you miss it on fourth and two, you miss it. Oh well, you turn it over on downs. But it's like, you know, Zach Taylor's like, anything you can do, I can do better when it comes to shitty clock management like Mike Tomlin does typically. Not that I'm complaining about it because that gave the Steelers new life at offense when they onside kicked it, recovered it, and then just need it down to win the game. So really, no complaints from the offense outside of those three things. Defense did really well today. There were a couple of WTF moments, as I like to say. Like, there were two plays where they... Jake Browning probably should have had three picks today. As two passes were tipped, and by sheer dumb luck, Jamal, uh, Jamar Chase was right there to make a play on it, take it, for a big, take it for a big chunk of yards. I mean, plays like that, you just got to come up with a turnover. You got to come away with an interception. Peasy Jr., I love you, kid. I know you're I know you're a rookie and all, but the defensive pass interferences have to stop. Another game with him getting a defensive PI. I know he's a kid, I know he's a rookie, he still has a long way to go, but the pass interferences have to stop. Made up for it with locking down targets, deflecting passes. I think he played well enough, but you gotta stop with the penalties, brother. All there is to it. The pressure was there, making Jake Browning get rid of the ball. I complained about the pass rush last week, but then I realized something. 
you don't have to sack the quarterback to cause pressure. But today, T.J. Watt, outside of that stupid rough in the passer penalty he took. Now, that time was rough in the passer, okay? You can't hit him late like that. T.J., you've been in the league seven years. You've won your defensive player of the year. you got to be smarter than that. You cannot hit the quarterback that late when it should have been a safety it should have been a safety sack. You just cannot hit the QB that late. But he made up for it with two sacks today, give him 12 and a half on the season. And then of course, the interception by Trenton Thompson today, who we called up over the weekend. Held the Bengals to just one touchdown. It came in the first half. And that was it. All the all the defense did was just a, a got fooled by a play action play, gave up one touchdown, and that's it. I know it's Jake Browning. I know it's a backup quarterback. I know Burrow's out for the rest of the season. But the defense did what they needed to do today. And they played well enough to obviously win the game. You know, so I'm not complaining about the defense. Yes, the defense folded a couple of times today. But hey, like I always say, bend, but don't break. And that's exactly what the Pittsburgh Steelers did today. Got the job done over the Bengals 16-10. Was it a beautiful win? No, it wasn't. There were a couple of stupid things that we did. We did leave points off the board. The execution needs to step up a little bit more for sure. But overall... There is a lot, there are a lot of things to like about today's game. Okay? The play calling looked better. Like I said, one game doesn't make me fall in love with Eddie Faulkner and Mike Sullivan. I want to see consistency. I still think these two should just be interim. I still think that they should that they they, they should not have Offen- they should not be the offensive coordinator going forward. They are not the permanent answers. But you got to give them credit for today's game, and that's all I'm doing. Now, next week, got the Arizona Cardinals. That's another team that we can't take lightly. They're a weak team, but they play hard, especially with Kyler Murray. Can't take that for granted. Four days later, got to play the Patriots on my 28th birthday. Okay? You cannot take anything for granted. And I think today just and I think today was a good step in stone. We finally did it, guys. 400 bleeping yards of offense today. And we prevail over the Bengals in Cincinnati. And let's keep it up, guys. I will be out with my victory Monday tomorrow morning. And uh, we'll go from there. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, follow on Instagram. Link is in the description below. This is Mac checking on out for the day. I got to get some tea and honey in my throat and I am gone.